Hello, and welcome to today's tutorial on Chat Filter. This plugin is featured in Server Maker for MCPE. Let's get started. So today we're going to go over this cool new plugin that they've added for us. It's called Chat Filter. This is going to allow you to actually prevent anybody from swearing uh, or saying certain words that you've actually keyed into the, the plugin itself. Uh, so how this is going to work really, like I said earlier, you got to kind of give it the words. It's not just going to automatically have the database set for it. You need to tell it what you want. Uh, so what we're going to do though really quick is we're going to do forward slash cc and this is actually going to bring up our, our menu that we have, all the available options that we can use for this plugin. Uh, so as you can see, we, the first one up there is going to be info, then we have help, which we're in right now obviously, uh, reload, which is going to reload all the configurations pretty much basically, you know, start it all over again. Uh, then we got add word, remove word, mute player, and unmute player. So let's get into these really quick. So for info, info is actually just going to give you uh, the plugin uh, version, what where it's at, who made it, and maybe a website also as well. So let's do CC info. Okay, and as you can see right there, it's going to bring up chat sensor version 1.4 developed by Elvosoft uh, website, and then you know obviously there you go for that. So that's pretty easy. You know, a couple little common things for you guys to check out. Uh, another one we're going to want to do here is um, say we want to add a word. Okay, so we'll do add word. And then whatever the word is that you want to choose. So, uh, for example, we'll do IP. So you want to stop somebody from saying their IP. Now, it's not going to block out the whole IP address itself. It's just going to pertain to that word. So if somebody's asking for IP, we can take care of that word. So you see, obviously, we've just now added that to our, our word bank. So we're going to go in here and say, what's the IP? Uh, do, do, do. Okay, so there you go. What's the IP? Now when we go to hit our enter for our chat, the chat filter is actually going to block that word IP out. So nobody's going to know what's the uh, blank. So nobody knows what it is. Obviously the person that wrote it is going to know, but the other people on the server aren't going to know what it is. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Now if you actually want to go and you want to say you made a mistake and that wasn't the word you wanted to add to your, your database, uh, you're just going to go back into here. You're going to do remove word. Okay, and then the word that you want removed from that list, which is IP. So now you're going to see over here it says word was removed. So now I can do IP, and then you'll see that it pops up in my chat IP again. Pretty cool, pretty easy. I like it. It's nice. Uh, like I said, though, you do have to go through and kind of add the words on your own uh, to tell the system what it is you want to eliminate out of here. And really, I mean, when it comes down to it, we have another feature, which is uh, the mute co command. So if you just do forward slash mute and the player's name, whoever it is, for example, uh, and you hit OK, it'll actually ban that person from speaking in your, your server for a while. I mean, obviously, until you go back in and you unmute them. So to undo that, you just do unmute, okay, and then the player's name. And then it'll actually unmute that person. They can speak again on the server. Really simple, really easy. Uh, it's not too hard at all. Like I said, just go through and you got to kind of program which words you want into it. Obviously, there's a lot of younger kids now playing Minecraft these days. Uh, so you don't want them to see all these this profanity and, and just crazy downright ignorant words. Uh, so, you know, be a little outside the box and kind of think what people can say, different ways they might be able to say it. Uh, and just, you know, kind of be mindful that, you know, there are younger kids trying to play this game. Uh, so if you guys like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up down below. Also leave a few comments, let me know what you thought about the video. And you guys stay chill, and I will see you in the next one. Later.